Now, fans know that Matt James's season is not filming at the iconic Bachelor Mansion, but since we are here, I'm going to get to take a look around. We are inside the Bachelor Mansion, everybody, and fans will remember these stairs. Tierra infamously fell down them during Sean Lowe's season. Tierra, I'm in heels. They seem pretty sturdy to me. Now we're at the point where this is my least favorite part of the night. Now we are entering hallowed grounds. This is the famous rose ceremony room. Of course, it looks totally different right now, but if you recognize the fireplace behind me, earlier in the night before the eliminations happen, a kiss or an intimate chat might happen there. And then people get sent home. Though you'll notice uh, not a rose in sight right now because production changes everything when they film. <laughs> That's why I brought some. <laughs> I'm a jacket. All right, we are here in the kitchen and it actually gets put to a lot of use because even though the show seems glamorous, when you're a contestant, you gotta cook your own food. You're doing a lot of making out. I don't know, what's, are there mints all over the Bachelor Mansion? Um, you know what there was? There were the Listerine strips. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. And I definitely use my fair share of them. Just pop those in. Uh -huh. Oh, here he Hello. Is. Hey, guys. Bachelor Nation, we are in the room known as the Tink Tink Room, where Chris Harrison comes in, does a tink tink on his glass, and makes a dramatic announcement. Sorry to break this up, but it is time for our first rose ceremony. Ah, the pool. If you didn't jump in on night one, were you even here? That's it. That's, that's the most important thing that yeah. happens to nobody. Now many an intimate conversation has happened at this fireplace. I'm really hoping to get the first impression, Rose, but if I don't, I brought my own. Yeah, that's sad. We are now in the master bedroom closet and behind the scenes secret, when Chris Harrison isn't filming, he takes naps in here. So let's see what it's like. Not bad. Thanks. You grew up, I mean, just a few minutes from where we are at the Bachelor mm -hmm. Mansion. Yeah. You said you used to try to sneak in. Does this mean, did you ever daydream about being Bachelor and did you guys ever think this could happen? <laughs> Life's crazy. Life, Life is, life crazy. is very crazy. I swear, I, I have vivid memories of trying to hop over that fence and sneak on here. And um, this many years later, having this opportunity, I'm the most, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I am with the man who designed it, who owned it, and who is now renting it on Airbnb for you. Marshall Harridan. I am noticing though, I kind of brought the roses today. Not as many roses on property as we usually see on a certain TV show. Do they bring the roses in? What's the deal? They bring their own. This is the first time it's ever been on Airbnb, right? Yes. So what made you want to put it out there? Uh, you know, the kids are all grown up, so they're not here. So there's a lot of empty house, so we travel a lot. So when we come home, we go, it's just sitting here empty, so. It's right around 9,600 square feet. Wow. There is uh, seven bedrooms now and eight bathrooms. Okay. Um, it sits on 10 acres. How many people are you saying that it can sleep then comfortably? I think we say 13. 13, usually 30 women on the show. The pool gets used quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Do you ever wonder what that pool has seen? I keep it really clean. Okay, so Marshall, I wanna come and stay one night. How much am I looking at? Just one night? Yeah. Well, you have political influence, so <laughs> probably around $6,000 a night. $6,000, what do I get? Two jacuzzis, swimming pool, pool table, full bar, Chris Harrison not included. Oh, that's extra. A lot. <laughs>